Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that the Easy Panel 2.0 is now available. The first version of the panel is one of the most popular Photoshop panels in the world, with over 100,000 photographers using it regularly. And of course, it's still completely free. If you want to download it, just go down to the description of this video on YouTube and you'll see a link where you can do that now. The great news is that the Easy Panel now creates 16-bit luminosity masks and gives us an easy way to cycle through those masks and make selections or apply them. Let me show you what I mean. I've got a darker exposure on top here and a base exposure where we've got an overexposed sky and I'm just going to create some bright luminosity masks. And remember these are 16-bit luminosity masks and now I can just cycle through them to see which mask I like best. And let's say I go for a bright two. Now I simply press apply mask and we've instantly applied that mask to the darker exposure. And look at how quickly we've blended those two exposures. We've gone from having an overexposed sky and a correctly exposed for foreground to a nice natural blend. And then we can continue with our workflow to make this look beautiful. And let me show you some of the other functions below. So we have the Batu Caves from Malaysia and we can choose a detail enhancer. And now we can just make our settings whatever we want them to be and press OK. And you'll see we've enhanced the details in the image. And if we want to reduce the effect, we can bring that all the way down, let's say to 22%, and we'll see that we've created some lovely local contrast. And I can bring that up a bit more so you can see it in the video. And remember, if you want, you can target this to any part of the image. You can target it just to the midtones, to the shadows or the highlights by using these luminosity mask functions. We also have the ability to sharpen an image full size. So if we choose sharpen full size, we'll create a non-destructive new layer and we can choose the strength of that sharpening as we want. So I'm going to press OK, made it nice and strong so you can see it in the video. Let's zoom in here and there's before and after. So you see we're sharpening up the image nicely. And as I say, this is a completely non-destructive process. Or if you want to prepare your images for the web, you can just choose Sharpen for the web. And this will create images which are 2048 pixels wide, which is optimal for Facebook and 500 pixels and Flickr. And the Orton effect will allow us to create a nice dreamy feel in our photos. So we can just set the size or strength of that dreamy feel and just press OK. And then of course we can bring down the opacity. And you see we make kind of a Lord of the Rings fantasy type feel with our images. But don't be too strong with that. Try and make it nice and subtle. Next we've got autumn colors where we can take a beautiful green scene like this and add some alternative autumn style colors. And again we can bring down the opacity to change the color of those autumn colors. And finally we have dodge and burn. So we can press the dodge and burn button choose let's say a paintbrush with a black foreground and an opacity of about 40% and look we can burn certain areas. We're adding contrast to these areas or we can change our foreground to white and we can paint in those areas to dodge them or in other words to make them brighter. And we can strengthen that effect by changing this from soft light to overlay. So there's the before and after. And this is a completely non-destructive dodge and burning process. So as you can see, even though the Easy Panel's free, it's incredibly powerful and can help you in many steps in your workflow. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.